In 2014, Mole Valley District Council generated £67,000 to be invested locally to develop disability sport provision over a three-year period. Out of this funding came the Mole Valley Inclusive Sport Project, which has developed a range of activities targeting people with disabilities since 2015. I mean, over the week we have one, two, three, four, five classes of disabilities and, and we do have a, a broad range of disabilities in there. It's lovely for them to actually be active and actually uh, join in with us, go through practically all the exercises that we would do with uh, a mainstream gymnast. They get exposed to utilise their body, uh, use the motor skills and try and improve really, improve those things such as balance, coordination, strength. And they're doing things that they probably would never get the opportunity to do anywhere else. None of this would be possible without the assistance from Mo Valley. I mean, these children and the adults are having a great time. Uh, Mo Valley has been absolutely uh, essential to make all this possible. Mole Valley District Council works with charities, physical activity providers and community groups to deliver the inclusive sport programme. And I am a stroke survivor and I come here on a Monday afternoon to shoot. It's important to do the same activities as you would normally enjoy because of the sense of uh, one of the staff members of Discover, uh, she came down and, and at the end of the session she said, this is totally amazing. This is one of the quietest groups we have. She said and they're all laughing and joking and making arrangements to go out and stuff like that. And, and it just seemed to give them, I suppose, something in common. When you participate, you feel much more uh, of a whole person. The Mole Valley should be congratulated on providing uh, this um, experience for us because it improves our uh, life experience so much. Incentives were provided to participants to attend sessions regularly to ensure that each session had maximum participant numbers. So far, it has enabled over 700 individuals to take part in over 7,500 sessions. We sort of decided that golf needed a bit more, um, a bit more influence than what it was getting um, for the grassroots and those people, like the session you've seen today, who haven't got natural access to golfing facilities. The benefits are from the community golf is that you can make new friends and you can take away um, achievements that you've been um, taking, taking part in something. We will um, tailor the session to the group and we will tailor each, each individual game, as you might have seen today, to the person playing it. The group have learned to do things together, to help each other, and they know what the flow is of, of the session, so they will wait their turn, they will help each, they will help each other if need be. It's made a big difference because this is something I've actually taken up and, and enjoyed. The long-term aim was to make the part-funded sessions as sustainable as possible by providing support and contributing towards training and specialist equipment. One of the priorities for Mole Valley District Council is, is to tackle social isolation and uh, to increase uh, resident well-being in, in the district. Walk for Health is an example of a scheme that's doing that. Walk for Health is a, a group set up by Mole Valley District Council for people to get fit. It um, deals with all uh, ages and abilities. It's geared towards different speeds. And it's somewhere where it gives you motivation to do something. Well, I was surprised at the impact and the change that um, it's made to a lot of my walkers. It's gotten people out of the house, making new friends, um, and of course the health benefits that come with it. To be frank, I think it's imperative that all councils uh, keep, keep these sort of projects going. And of course all the, all the volunteers that walk on this, also wonderful. They give their time up for, for nothing at all. Following the success of the initial three-year programme, Mole Valley District Council remains fully committed to disability sport and will continue to work with partners to provide opportunities for people with disabilities.
We're here for a family event that we've arranged in conjunction with um, Surrey Outdoor Learning and Sports England to do a family day on the site of High Ashurst with all the activities. So, so far we've done crate challenge and trapeze. We build a tower and we had to climb up it and work as a team and then the tower fell down. But when the tower fell down, Mummy and Daddy were lifting us up higher with the ropes. Did you like that bit, being pulled up in the sky? Yeah. The impact it has is, I suppose, very varied, isn't it? The families themselves get to work together, but it's also the social side of it. So the parents meet other parents in the same situation and they've got that common bond and they get on. But also the kids, they just, I mean, you can hear from around you, they just get on with it. And you've seen this morning, they just work, love working together as a team. I think as a parent, when you have a lot of trauma, it's essential that you have time also for yourself to talk to parents who've had similar situations. And Site for Surrey clearly offers that for us, which is fantastic. Without um, the support of Sports England and Mole Valley, there is no way that our small charity could have funded this in full. So we are so grateful for this this opportunity it's been absolutely fantastic what's your top 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 words to describe what we did today um, short words or not many of them amazing amazing okay that's a pretty cool exciting one. exciting team building i think it was quite good fun fun was my one i liked it it was quite good fun we laughed a lot didn't we we did have a big laugh yeah was it funny did you laugh at the parents falling off yeah. i think it did yeah <laughs> So this is our take on the festive Santa Dash that you see across the country for the able-bodied community. Um, so we've got a 1K, 5K and a 10K going on today. Um, anybody can travel on any piece of adapted equipment they would like to. Yeah, it's, re it's really fun to be part of something like this, um, to be able to come together with other disabled people, giving them an opportunity to be able to have something that's inclusive. I think it's so important to have things that you can do as a person with a disability alongside people who are able-bodied, because often um, you see, you know, fully current big sport, or something like this, where you can all get together. You know, as my sister, and my flatmate, and I all come together, done something together, and that's a really great, unique thing to do. I, mean, I think being involved in sports and activity is important for anybody. Access to that needs to be, you know, needs to be sort of fun and, and engaging, so that people are going to want to come forward and, and be active, uh, and it's going to improve their well-being. And that can be more difficult for somebody with a disability because there are barriers. But this event is all about breaking those barriers down. But there's a really frightening statistic about the large proportion of disabled people that don't get engaged with sport. Uh, and I think that JJ's right. There's a lot of barriers preventing uh, members of the demographic getting involved in sport. And that's just terrible. We should sport should be for everybody. I think it's actually more important than being inclusive sometimes because people need a level playing field to take part in sport. I think people focus a lot on trying to include disabled people, but actually we're not including everybody people here. So it's just your own, it's your own platform to enjoy sport. Well, I think, I think something that people don't realise, when you put on an event like this, it costs about £92 a head to put someone on the course. But I'm heavily de dependent on partners and sponsors who basically made this happen. Yeah, that's what makes it so brilliant. So everyone's here today because they've added something to the day. One, two, three, oh, geez. For more information, please contact our Sports and Communities Advisor or call the number below. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter to find out more about inclusive sport opportunities across the county. Thank you for watching.